This is Lesson 12, Solve and Create Fraction Word Problems Involving Addition, Subtraction, and Multiplication. Problem 1. A baseball team played 32 games and lost 8. Katie was the catcher in 5 eighths of the winning games and 1 fourth of the losing games. A. What fraction of the games did the team win? B. In how many games did Katie play catcher? We will look at this problem in two different ways. First, our method one, the tape diagram shows that there were 32 games altogether and that Katie's team lost eight of them. So we want to know how many they won. 32 games minus eight games is 24. We know they won 24 games, but it asks what fraction of the games did the team win? To determine that, we have to divide the number of games that they won by the number of games played all together, 24 divided by 32. The simplified fraction is 3 fourths, so the team won 3 fourths of the games. The second question wants to know in how many games did Katie play catcher? We know that they won 24 games and she played catcher in 5 eighths of those, 5 eighths of 24 is 15. We know she played catcher in one-fourth of the games they lost. One-fourth of eight is two. So we add those two amounts together, 15 plus two, 17 games. Katie played catcher for 17 games. In method two, first we want to answer what fraction of the games did the team win. We know they lost eight out of 32, and when we simplify that fraction, we get one-fourth. If they lost one-fourth of their games, they won three-fourths of their games. So the team won three-fourths of their games. To answer our second question, using tape diagrams, we can show that out of 24 games, Katie was catcher in five-eighths of those games. So eight parts, five of them. Eight units equals 24. Each unit is 3, so if we have 5 of those, that's 15, showing that she was catcher in 15 games. They lost 8 games, and she was catcher in 1 fourth of those. 4 units equals 8, 1 unit equals 2, so 1 fourth of that would equal 2. She, of the games they lost, she played in 2 of them. She played in 17 games, played catcher in 17 games. Problem 2. In Mrs. Elliot's garden, one-eighth of the flowers are red, one-fourth of them are purple, and one-fifth of the remaining flowers are pink. If there are 128 flowers, how many flowers are pink? In our first method of solving this, we know one-eighth of the flowers are red, so one-eighth of 128 is 16. We know one-fourth of the flowers are purple, one-fourth of 128 is 32. If we add our red and purple flowers together and subtract that from 128, we find out how many flowers are left, and that is 80 flowers. We know that one-fifth of the remaining flowers are pink. One-fifth of 80 is 16. There are 16 pink flowers. Method 2. Add our one-eighth and one-fourth. We know that one-eighth of the flowers are red and one-fourth are purple. We can add those two, to num two numbers together, getting a common unit. One-eighth plus one-fourth would be three-eighths. So three-eighths of 128, that would be the number of flowers that we know, they're either red or purple, are 48 flowers. We want to find how many aren't either red or purple, so 128 minus 48, again that's 80, one-fifth of 80, is 16. 16 flowers are pink. Using a tape diagram, 128 is our whole. If we divide it into 8 units, we know that one of those units is red. Since 1 fourth is the same as 2 eighths, two of those units are purple. So those three units are already either red or purple. We look at the remaining units, which are 80, because they are each equal to 16. We know that 8 units is 128, is 128, so 1 unit would equal to 16. 
So our remaining units are 80, and one-fifth of those is how many are pink. So 5 units is 80. One unit would be 80 divided by 5, or 16. In our final method, with a tape diagram, our whole is 128. Again, we're divided into 8 units. We have our 1 red unit representing 1 eighth, 2 purple because 2 fourths is this, because 1 fourth is the same as 2 eighths. There are 5 units left. 5 units is what we want, we want to know one fifth of what is left. So since each unit is 16, 1 fifth of what is left is still 1 fifth of 80, and that is 16. 16 flowers are pink. Problem 3. Lillian and Darlene plan to get their homework finished within one hour. Darlene completes her math homework in three-fifths of an hour. Lillian completes her math homework with five-sixths hour remaining. Who completes her homework faster and by how many minutes? Bonus, give the answer as a fraction of an hour. Method 1. Darlene completed hers in three-fifths of an hour. Three-fifths times 60, 36 minutes. Lillian completed hers with five-sixths of her hour remaining. That means she completed it in one-sixth of an hour. One-sixth of 60 is 10 minutes. 36 minutes minus 10 minutes is 26 minutes. Lillian completed her homework faster, and she did it 26 minutes faster. We can also show this in a tape diagram. 60 is our whole. Darlene finished her in three-fifths of an hour. Three-fifths times 60 is 36 minutes. Lillian, we know, completed hers in one-sixth, since five-sixths of an hour was remaining. She completed it in one-sixth of an hour, 10 minutes. Again, Lillian completed hers 26 minutes faster. For bonus, we needed to write 26 minutes as a fraction. 26 over 60, there are 60 minutes in one hour, so 26 sixtieths can be simplified to 13 thirtieths of an hour. We could change that to that equivalent fraction. In problem four, we're asked to create and solve a story problem about a baker and some flour whose solution is given by the expression one-fourth times the sum of three and five. While there are many possibilities, here is one. A baker combined three cups of sugar and five cups of flour together in a bowl. He used one-fourth of the mixture to bake cookies. How many cups of the mixture did he use? One-fourth times the sum of three and five. Three plus five is eight. One-fourth times eight is one times eight over four. Eight divided by four is two. He used two cups of the mixture. Problem 5. Create and solve a story problem about a baker and 36 kilograms of an ingredient that is modeled by the following tape diagram. Include at least one fraction in your story. The tape diagram we need to use shows that the whole is 36 and it is first partitioned into three parts. Then one of those thirds is divided into half. So this is our tape diagram we have to use to create a story. One possibility is a baker poured a bag of 36 kilograms of flour equally into three containers. He then used one half of one container of the flour to make pretzels. How many kilograms of flour did he use to make the pretzels? Using our first tape diagram, three units would equal 36 kilograms. One unit would be 36 divided by three, or 12 kilograms. Take that one unit of 12 kilograms, we need half of it. Half of 12 is 6 kilograms. He used 6 kilograms of flour to make pretzels. Problem 6. Of the students in Mr. Smith's 5th grade class, one-third were absent on Monday. Of the students in Mrs. Jacobs' class, two-fifths were absent on Monday. If there were four students absent in each class on Monday, how many students are in each class? First in Mr. Smith's class, we're trying to find the whole, 
we know that one-third of them were absent and that one-third equals four students. So if one unit equals four, three units equals 12. There are 12 students in Mr. Smith's class. Then for Mrs. Jacob's class, we know, we know there were two-fifths of them absent. So we know that two units equals four because four students were absent on Monday. So if two units equals four, one unit equals two. We have five units altogether, so five units equals ten. There were ten students in Mrs. Jacobs' class. So although there were four absent from each class, we had one-third of twelve, that was four, and we had two-fifths of ten, and that equaled four.